All right, what's good, y'all boys? And we know that necromancy is coming very soon. So I'm just going to give you a little preview on how I am preparing for necromancy. And yeah, let's just get right into it. So thankfully, RuneScape had gave us a list of what the items are that we need. So yeah, let's just go starting into it. So we know that the spider silk outfit, the mystic, and the subjugation are there. So let's just start with the spider silk. So I'm going to show you where to get the spider silk outfit. So all you would do is teleport to Port Serum and from the lodestone head north. And we're going to go to the little magic shop, which is right here. So you would open the door. And here you would trade Betty, right? So you would scroll down until you find the spider, the spider silk outfit. And there we go. Yeah, you get the whole outfit. And for the Mystic, the blue variant, all you would do is teleport to Yadnil Lodestone and head toward the Wizard's Guild or the Magic Guild. For a supposedly learned institution. Oh, look at the first necromancer. They are ignorant when it comes to other aspects of magic. Oh, okay. So you would trade the robe store owner. And then here we see the Mystic Hat, or the Mystic Set. And this is where you could buy it. Yeah, and while we're here, we might as well talk about the Subjugation. So, all you would do is go to God Wars 1, and go to Krill Sutheroth. And he's the one that drops the Subjugation outfit. So if you want to camp that, that's also a good idea. So continuing on with, you know, the outfit. They say that you're going to be able to craft other tiers of armor, but... In my personal opinion, I'm I'm going to assume that the Acto is going to be next because it's tier 90. Because we go from 20 to 50 to 70, and then we were missing 90. But I believe they, they told us we're going to make our own armor. So I'm just assuming Acto because it's 90. Or like, you know how they said you can be either tank or power armor. And I'm going to assume tectonic. So that's what I'm assuming. I may be wrong, but that's what I'm thinking. And then, you know, of course, tectonic, so you can make all the other pieces if you need. I know there's no gloves and boots, but you never know. Yeah, we have pure essence. You know, do a good amount of abyssal demons. They drop a lot of essence. Another thing, too, is going into the runes is the catalytic animal stone and elemental. I'm not too sure if they're going to incorporate these two into the the runes, but hey, it's good to have if you don't have them. Another pouch, so get another grasping rune pouch if you can, regular rune pouch, because we're going to have four new runes, so you already know, get another pouch. Yak milk for, you know, the super rune crafting potions, and you know, getting into the power burst of sorcery. I'm not too sure if the Arcane Apop Pterosaur is going to be also be multiplied, but hey, grab yourself a couple of these. And then for the offhand for Necromancy, I have an, I have an odd feeling that we're going to use a, like some other weapon to make that weapon. So I'm going to just assume like when we get into higher gear, a singularity from you know Virago. I could be wrong. Hey, I'm I'm just I'm just speculating. You know what I'm saying? But that's what I'm thinking. Of course, a draconic visage, because it's on the list. A spectral spear shield, it's on the list, and all the other bones that is listed. Yeah, reinforced dinosaur, hardened dragonkin, air you frost wyvern dragon, ogre. Dagonoth, baby, big bones, and regular bones. Yeah, I'm. I grabbed a good amount. Like air you bones were from raids. Dragonkin, Carapac, Harden, our adamant dragons, dinosaurs, reinforced our rune dragons. So you know, Jasmine arrows, frost dragons were really easy to do. Wyvern, you know, all the wildy events. That's basically all wildy events. Dragon bones from all those Vindicta kills. Uh, ogre bones from Bandos or, you know, General Gardor. Dagonoth bones. I actually bought these. 
So if you want to camp Dagonos, that might be a good idea. Baby dragons I had bought. Big bones, there were a good amount of, like, you know, the, the Saren spirits? And how, like, they give you, like, 69 bones or whatever. Yeah, that's, that came out a good amount of them. And regular bones, these are crazy easy to get. Or you can just buy them. They're pretty cheap. Yeah, regular bones are not that bad. And if you remember, you know, the last wills and testaments, like, you know, the little event that just happened? They gave us buckets of slime, which I'm thinking, all right, that may be in the list. So I'm keeping those just in case. You never know. You really never know because RuneScape be giving us everything, like little hints to what's happening. So, you know, appraisal codex because they told us. And it's crazy at the amount right now. Good thing I bought it early. The Algarum thread, which I'm going to show you where to get them right now. So if you go to Uglog Lodestone, all you do is run a little northwest and talk to Ocelus. And you can buy Algarum thread here. Yeah, they're 500k a piece. Yeah, and regarding the collection, I had done most of this on stream. Yeah, for the most of these bones, yeah, I had did on stream. And for regarding the perks for the weapons, it on the video they showed that they were augmentable, so I'm just gonna assume that it's gonna be augmentable. So you know, invigorating one, like these are random perks I think they're gonna be using, like used for. So I'm just gonna assume it. You know, precise six invigorating one, aftershock four, ruthless one, or precise six a one. And you know, I'm gonna have some more ancient armor just in case, like, if we could think of others. You know, impatient four, undead slayer, relentless four, I mean, relentless five, crackling four, enhanced devoted four, biting four. And in the rune pouch, I mean, not the rune pouch, the gizmos. Yeah, let me show you the gizmo. Yeah, gizmo pouch. Yeah, so in the gizmo pouch, there's gonna be a lot more we can use. Like invigorating for crystal shield because according to this style, it's really auto based attack, like heavy. So I'm assuming invigorating four is going to be crazy. And of course, like, you know, leveling the gear and light in three and then, you know, other types of impatient scavenging four when you're leveling the armor. Uh, let's see, and, and lighten for wise, yeah, for wise, for the weapon and the armor, this is going to be real big because it's going to be used along with, like, you know, relics from archaeology. And yeah, botting three, botting four. All right, so let's continue on. So, yeah, XP capacitor uh, charged. Yeah, just grab a few of those. And regarding the wool... It says it says on the list. It says um player own farm wool. So I'm thinking it's gonna be a summer, spring, fall, winter. Like this is also player own farm, but you can you can actually go to like Birtherpy and just shave them off. And then you also have black wool. I'm not too sure where else can you get this except player own farms. So yeah, that's what I have. Yeah, I just been farming those collecting the resources from them every so often and yeah let's move on to the ashes so yeah that last will like you know the event that passed they had gave they, like on the list it says ashes which is true but they not real specific on what ash so yeah there's searing ash there's tortured ash impious ashes regular ashes infernal ashes and accursed ashes so these are all the um, like different ashes that do have the word ashes but they not being real specific on what which it is so i'm just holding on to all of these just making sure and of course you know the torso sticks for xp and regarding the like how would you say combat i'm assuming we're gonna have this like, I'm, I'm just bringing Cinderbanes, like, you know, for Slayer monsters and anything that's poisonable. Some alchemical hydrox dust for, you, like, you know, the EOFs. And, of course, making another EOF. Like, that's another thing, too. Like, if, if you're going into high PVM, you're probably going to have all maxed out ornate EOFs. 
So all I did was make regular EOFs and make different colors of regular EOFs. And I'm not too sure if regular combat dummies, because you know the new list had came out, and I'm not too sure I've seen anything on combat dummies. So I'm gonna just leave it there. And when I was looking at the list for, like, you know, oh, bonus XP or extra XP, they had mentioned the prime knowledge bombs, but they never said anything about the small knowledge bombs. So I'm not too sure if it's, it's super specific, but I'm just assuming prime, because they say prime prizes or something like that. And I'm like, you know what? But this says small. I'm assuming it's the same thing. They're gonna, they're probably gonna match it the same way, because they're gonna be like, oh, it's every all knowledge bombs. But yeah, I have the small regular knowledge bombs. The book of death. Yeah, if you want to get some quick insta kills doing Slayer, yeah, make your XP gain even quicker. This is also a smart move, and also having death notes. Like, let me see. Like, having some notes on the side. Yeah, death notes. This is also good to have. I'll put that right next to each other. Yeah, so you can recharge your book of death. The big book. They did say that it's going to be useful. So, try to grab as much big pages as you can. And try to fill it up as much as you can. And, of course, regular god books that do AoEs. Like, the book of balance does an AoE. Book of Chaos does AoE and Book of Law does AoE. And and I don't know if you guys were, well, probably. Like when you first logged in with the Necromancer like teaser, he automatically gave you an ectoplasmic residue. And if you interact with it, it says what, level 20 necromancy? Yeah, you need level 20. So yeah, you can't do anything with it yet. So that's another thing too. Having that. Um for some reason, how would you say it? Having a hybrid armor set, because I know sooner or later, like I'm, I'm assuming the lower tier versions of these armors are not going to have any like bonuses. So, and they're going to be really low leveled up to subjugation. Yeah. So I'm assuming 20 to 50 is going to be really low gear. So maybe Sliske outfit might be good to be used i'm just assuming another thing too is zilgar chog's soul like you know from necromancy i mean not necromancy archaeology that's that's something that has not had any use in this game and i'm assuming we're gonna because this ha this is a phylactery with a soul in it and if you read it the demon's like oh i'll make my way back into the world when it's like time so I'm I'm just assuming you because I I don't know you never know. Another thing too is a salve amulet, twenty percent damage and hit chance against undead. You already know that's good to have. And Erethor's grimoire, like if you have another one in your, or if you have one, yeah, this is also really good to have, cause extra damage, but the upkeep is kind of high. Now let's keep going. Alright, so yeah, they mentioned overloads and how, like, you know, the pre-made will still work. So I pre-made, like, fi like 5,300 Elder Overloads. And, yeah, I still have my salves. And, of course, I gotta decant, like, all the other ones I have. Yeah, so, yeah, I would have a good amount of salves, but I would just make sure you make, like, a good amount to last a long time. Because I heard they're really changing the whole thing, like, in, like to make, um, like, you know, the herb cape, the 120, to make it less. Instead of four to make five, it'll, I heard it was going to be three to make four. Because they have to make a whole nother space for the necromancy potion. So that's going to be a little weird. So, yeah, I would just make them all now. Like, I would just hop on that really quick. Make sure you don't like dilly dally wait till the last minute because that'll go that's gonna be bad and regarding the igneous stone yeah go to zuck and i'm gonna show you when i get there right so we all know scal zuck or scal zook oh lord not this not this again all right but yeah for the igneous stone it's real easy 
If you need a guide for Skalzuck normal or hard mode, it's on the channel. And all you really gotta do is, yeah, when you get it, yeah. I already have 25 of them ready to go. So yeah, when it's, when the time comes, I'll just take it out of this chest. And yeah, because we have to fight Harakin. Yeah, you have to, yeah, we have to fight him again to get another cape. And then use the Igneous Stone to make a Necromancy cape. And then we can make the Scals, um, the Igneous Cal Zuck again. Or basically the big boy cape. Yeah, so we're going to have to add another style to it. Uh, another thing, too, is, like, you know, the bars that say, what, from bronze to Bane? Yeah, so, yeah, that was another thing, too, I was working on, too. So, yeah, I got almost 100 of everything. Yeah, bronze, I almost got to 100. So, yeah, I, I basically got 100 of each bar. And I'm hoping I really don't need that much. Maybe, maybe, maybe up to 500. I, w I wouldn't hope so, but yeah, I'm, I just made a hundred of each just to be sure. And if anything, yeah, just use stone spirits. I'm pretty sure it's not going to be that bad. But yeah, having a hundred of each, that's how I'm preparing. So maybe it's going to be more, maybe less. But hey, you never know.